Example 27. Compare their performance on the first exam for two different students in two different statistics classes. The first student had a score of 72 in a class with a mean grade of 68 and a standard deviation of 5. The second student had a 70 in a class with a mean grade of 66 and a standard deviation of 4. Since they ask us to compare the performance on the first exam for two different students in two different classes, we're going to use some, something that's going to allow us to make a relative comparison. What that means is that we want to really compare these students against their peers in each class and then see relative to how they did in, in those classes how they do to each other right so we're going to say well relative to their peers you know this guy maybe maybe the first student um, outscored almost everyone in his class the other guy was kind of average in his class obviously the student who outscored almost everyone would be the winner so that's kind of the logic of the problem and basically we're going to convert the test scores they gave us into z scores so try to remember when they ask you to compare two different performances usually you're going to use a z score approach to do that so if we're going to use z scores we're going to have two calculations in the problem the first calculation will be the z score calculation for the first student and the second calculation will be the z score calculation for the second student all right, so with that in mind, then let's write down what we have in the problem for each student. So I'm going to label this student one and label this one student two. Student two. Okay, so under student one, it says the first student had a score of 72. Let's call his score x just for a generic uh, variable to represent it. In a class with a mean grade of, well, the mean for the first class was 68. And the mean for the, or sorry, the standard deviation for the second class was 5. All right, for student 2, the second student had a 70 in a class that had a mean of 66 with a standard deviation of 4. Okay, so there's your two sets of data. Now, the z-score for the first student will be x minus the mean over sigma, right? X here being 72, the mean being 68, and the standard deviation is 5. We'll do the same for student 2. Again, X minus the mean over sigma. So the X here is 70 minus the mean of 66 divided by 4. Okay, so let's quickly look at this one. The difference between 72 and 68 is 4, and that will be divided by 5, and 4 fifths as a decimal is 0 0.80, right? So that's the z-score for the first student, right? That is z-score 1. All right, let's consider that against this z-score. 70 minus 66 is also a difference of 4. But you're dividing by 4 at the bottom, so the answer becomes 1.00, and that's z-score 2. So which one is better than z-score 1 or z-score 2? Well, we're going to base it on the size of the z-score. The bigger the z-score here, the better the grade. And the reason why is because generally when you're talking about grades, higher grades are better. So a higher z-score represents a higher grade relative to his classmates. And so when you compare these two, this guy did better in his class than this guy did in his class. So we're going to give z-score 2 the winner, and that means that the best student here is student 2 comparing the two.